ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my youtube video it's your favorite emperor here once again and it's yuki today we're doing we're gonna make on our minecraft female member tutorial and that is how to create or how to get charizard last born power here in minecraft bedrock edition but before we start or before we get right into our video you know the drills hit the subscribe button right now down below slap the bell icon can always be notified every time upload such video and stuff also let's give a like in this video if you do like our today's video okay and if you want to join me at my discord you can actually just join me at my discord the description is right down below and if you want if you want to follow me on twitter you can just always follow me on twitter and once again the link in the description down below you know, let's go right it and let's get started to our tutorial for today okay you know, let's go Alright, it's time to start our tutorial for today. Today I want to show you guys how to create a blast board just like a move that Charizard has in Pokemon. So if you haven't know what blast board is, it actually looks like this and this and this and that's actually how it looks like a blast board, okay? It's actually a power move from I've seen like only at generation 6 series, but yeah. You know, let's go with it and let's get started to our tutorial. So what we're gonna do is flick the lever on. This actually pretty important IQ man that we have here. So first thing first, we're gonna have to flick this lever, which is actually very important. So we have to flick it like two times, just like this. Oops, what the flick is happening? What the? F I'm lagging. <laughs> okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to flick this second uh, command block in here, which actually have uh, a lot of command block piled up, like like a real a lot of command block. So what we're gonna do is gonna grab an item which we rename it using an anvil and we call it Blastborn. It's actually just a blaze powder, you know. Don't misunderstand anything. It's not mod or anything. So we're gonna do is gonna have to pick um some few of it. We're gonna have to do you know uh, individuals. Uh, types of the items which actually we're gonna do is uh, separate them only one by one because we're only gonna need one uh, One blast born items at a time and like if you are in PC if you're playing uh, pocket edition or uh, Big recognition in PC it's actually much more simpler than you. you don't have to separate the items But for me, I'm actually using a mobile. So yeah, I'm gonna have to separate an item which is actually pretty important uh, Pretty big deal in this one. Okay so we're gonna have to do guys is uh now we have the items let me show you how does this thing actually work so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to activate the blast burn by dropping the items right to the ground so what i'm gonna be able to do is uh i'm gonna have to drop one blast burn item and you can see the power surging power in here and that's actually a blast burn you won't get affected by the fire but every mobs nearby to you and any players any players or mobs will get instantly hit or get instantly burned if you got hit by the um, blaze I mean blast born power so let me show you from the um, like from this view and that's actually how the blast born power is look like a firestorm though but it's actually epic and cool and it will be vanished for a mere seconds and you better make sure to use it carefully and let me show you how does this thing affect the uh, mobs so you can see that it's gonna uh, it's actually gonna swallow the mobs into a fire flame until it dies and look at that it actually dies and it actually burn i don't know if actually yes it actually burn any kind of mobs and any kind of items though because i doesn't actually set it to you know not hit any items but actually pick and cool if I say so if you want to try it or if you want to do it to the mid air it's actually pretty effective too you can do it using the phantom at night and actually if i can cool we can see this at night now look at this look at that look at all the fire in there bro it's actually pick and cool when try this in your own world very well try it in your own world just follow the commands so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have to drop a mass of it okay this time so we're gonna have to drag a lot of it it's so gonna have to blast for maybe some of this will survive but i think most of this will gonna die instantly i mean look at them they get hit by a strong blast burn flame and yeah there's actually two of them which actually survive but if you hit them one more time i'm sure they're pretty dead like dead or dead or dead so uh i think they've separated yeah they're way too far away so i'm gonna do is if they're way too far away, i'm gonna have to throw it right to the mid air and i think they'll get hit instantly and yeah they get hit inst instantly with asher of uh it has a pretty wide range if you threw it mid air though i mean look at that if i try to throw it mid air it actually have pretty wide range 
uh, rather than throwing it right to the ground is actually just um, occupy a few you know few radius to hit any kind of mobs but actually pretty effective if you want to try it to the closer mobs around you and it's actually pretty cool look at that that husk is nowhere to survive I mean it actually can survive and yeah it actually does survive oh man so why did you survive why did you survive and how I think for me I think it's time for me to show you guys the commands of this blast burn move here we have here in Minecraft better creation which are actually dope and cool it might be a pretty long command but I assure you it's actually pretty you know pretty worth it oops spoiler spoiler alert someone had to turn off the lever off oh. So what we're gonna do first is you're gonna have to go to your uh, chat bags and you better make sure you turn on your cheats and everything on and I'm gonna do is slash give array slash I get a pretty laggy device so this actually happen all the time you can actually just see this in my uh, previous episodes okay slash give at a so I'm gonna have to do at a command underscore and block and there we have it, we're gonna have to receive our own command block right in our inventory and if you do want to see it, I actually have it, I already have 7 of it, like there's way too many. So first thing first, we're gonna have to put one command block and this one command block is after pretty important, so you're gonna do the slash scoreboard or you might gonna crash your world if you haven't want to try this out, so you might gonna do this first before you activate all the command. So it actually shows slash scoreboard objectives and power dummy. Impulse, uncrucial, and need redstone. So that's actually how is it. And we have your one command block, and we put one lever. Enable to put a lever to the side. All you do is a sneak and put it to the side. Pretty simple. First command we have here: execute at a name. Close blast board. Close bracket. Triple assuming bat space fire space triple bat. Go to P, uncrucial, and need redstone. Okay. And for the second command we have here, let me check this one. Okay. For the second command we have is. We have your execute at a name calls fire the close bracket space turtle particle minecraft mob flame underscore single space turtle without spaces. Put it to chain and control and always always active always active okay. And for our third command we have here is still a chain command until it went up. Execute at a name calls blast born close bracket turtle tag at p add space charizard. Put it to chain and control and always active okay. And for our fourth command or for our next command we have here effect at e name goes far close bracket space invisibility space one space one space two chain and control and always active okay and for the next command we have here is execute that e name goes far close bracket space triple the effect at e type cause exclamation charizard so you've been tagged into a charizard so you won't get affected to the uh, firepower so we're gonna have to put comma to radius five close bracket space weather space one space one space two go to the chain and control and always active and for a next command we have here actually uh, let me check this one we have here slash scoreboard which is actually pretty important and slash scoreboard player add at e name goes far close bracket space power space one chain and control and always active okay and for the next command here we go slash scoreboard player add at e name close blast board close bracket space power space one Put it to chain and control and always active. Okay, and for the next command, it's actually pretty long command. Kill at e uh, close bracket scores equals this uh, parenthesis power equals 50 parenthesis and close bracket. Put it to chain and conditional and always active. Okay, and for our last command that we have here is let me see this one. We get here effect at the dynamical fire close bracket instant underscore health so it won't get it won't it will last a little bit. Okay. So we have your actual limited time for the bat to be summoned or how long it will stay exist. Chain uncontrol and always active and there we have it, we have here our blast born power in Minecraft bedrock edition which is actually dope and cool if I say so and if you want to try it in your own world it's actually pretty and cool. I recommend trying it so if you don't have, oops, I forget turning. And you can see the fire like just emerge from the ground. It's actually epic and cool. It looks like a fire spirit being emerged to the ground and overall it's epic and cool if I say so. And if you want to try it in your own world, you can always try this. Feel free to do this and just copy the command, okay? But now I think that will be the end to our video guys. I truly really hope you enjoy our Minecraft command block tutorial video and 
stay tuned for more and yeah always stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button also slapping the bell icon and always be notified every top loaded search video and stuff also let's give a like in this video if you do like this video okay we know i think that will be the end of video love you all guys peace out bye bye and thank you for watching if you want to follow me twitter you can always just follow my twitter link in the description join my discord and all you know i think it'll be the end love you all peace out bye bye it's your emperor yuki here and peace out